Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. I'm Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. I'm also feeling oh, a little sleepy this morning. I wanted to stay curled up in my blankets. Does that ever happen to you? If you're feeling sleepy, your face might look like this. But maybe you're not feeling sleepy at all. You woke up and you just were ready to start the day. You're feeling awake. If you're feeling awake, your face might look like this. Now you already know how I like to check how I'm feeling and how you can check how you're feeling too. And that's by looking in the mirror. So all this week I've had color riddles and you've helped me figure out what color mirror I'm going to use. And I have another one for you today. Are you ready? This one's a little tricky. Some say you are this color when you are feeling down. Your eyes might be this color if they're not green or brown. Hmm, what color could it be? It's not green, it's not brown. And it's the color when you're feeling down. Oh, did somebody say blue? That's right. The color is blue. Let me grab my blue mirror. I'm going to check to see how I'm feeling. Oh, let's see. I already know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to check in on how you're feeling by touching the picture on the screen that best matches. Let's watch together. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. It's so important for you to check in on how you're feeling. And don't forget those around you. How about your teachers? Have you asked them how they're feeling lately? Now today we have a very special friend that has a story they'd like to share with us. This is Savannah. See, S for Savannah. Can we say hi to Savannah? Hi, Savannah. In this picture, Savannah is remembering that she spent time with her family and then she was going to do a fun activity. How do you think Savannah is feeling? Do you remember how we find out? That's right, we look at her face for clues. Let's do that together. So I noticed that Savannah's eyes are wide. They're like this. And look, she's not smiling, she's showing her teeth like and her arms are raised like this. Hmm, if you think that Savannah is feeling excited, make an excited face like this. If you think that Savannah is feeling scared, make a scared face like this. Let me take a look. Ooh, I see a lot of excited faces. Savannah, we think you're feeling excited in this picture. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And if you'd like to share your story, ask a parent, a family member, or a teacher to send it into the address below. Hey, okay, let's see. You know what that means? Time to check our schedule. What will we be doing today? Let's find out. We did our emotional check-in. Remember to do that throughout the day. We're going to do our weekly investigation. Do you remember what we've been learning about? Yes, construction workers. They're the people that build the things around us. And today we have more fun activities planned. Then it's going to be time for our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Now before we move on to our intentional message, I have a movement card for us. It's going to help wake our bodies up. 
Let's see what movement it is. Oh, it's a good one. Sometimes people get stuck on this letter. It's a tricky letter. Let's see if you know what it is. I'm gonna flip it around and it's gonna have a movement that starts with that letter and we're gonna do it together. Ready? Da 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 da! Did you recognize the letter? It's the letter G, that's right. G for grab. Grab the stars. Now to do this, we have to pretend. We have to pretend we're in a galaxy and there's all kinds of stars around us. We're gonna grab four of our favorites, ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, I love it, I'm gonna put some in my pocket. I'm gonna put some in my eyes so they sparkle. Let me grab my pointer and we'll go on to our intentional message. Let's see. Helps focus our work. It says, a construction worker is someone whose job it is to work on construction sites where structures are being built. Have you ever seen a structure being built around you? They might use big machines like a crane. Construction workers use these machines and they also use tools. Now all this week I've been sharing some tools with you that construction workers might use and I have some more to share. Let's look together, let's see. Today I have, ooh, this funny thing. Do you recognize it? It's a special shape that you might learn about in school. It's a triangle, right? It's also called a square, oddly enough, and it helps people like construction workers, make sure that things are straight. They line it up like this. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here in my basket? Ooh, do you recognize this tool? You might have used it before. What does it do? Hmm, maybe if I show you something else, you'll remember. Do you see what this little jar is? You would dip this in the jar and then you would, that's right, paint your walls with it. I have some old paint here, it's green. It's the color of my walls. We're gonna use these today in our song. We're gonna paint. And let's see, sometimes I have other things in here. Oh, what's this? Glue, that's right. It's a special kind of glue, not the glue you use in school. This is wood glue and it holds pieces of wood together. Okay, now let's sing a song about some of the tools that construction workers use. In this song, we're gonna stir the paint like this, and we're gonna paint the walls like this. Let's sing it together, ready? This is the way we stir the paint, stir the paint, stir the paint. This is the way we stir the paint so early in the morning. Now it's time to paint the walls. Pick your favorite color, ready? This is the way we paint the walls, paint the walls, paint the walls. This is the way we paint the walls so early in the morning. Hey, you ready to try it one more time? A little bit faster? Let's see. This is the way we stir the paint, stir the paint, stir the paint. This is the way we stir the paint so early in the morning. This is the way we paint the walls, paint the walls, paint the walls. This is the way we paint the walls so early in the morning. All right, boys and girls, now it's gonna be time to watch a video with a very special activity around construction work. Let's watch together. I wonder, how do construction workers make a house? Step one, they develop a plan for what they're going to build. They use special plans called blueprints to plan their construction work. The next step is figuring out what materials they'll need. Sometimes they just need simple materials like wood, hammer, and nails. And sometimes construction workers need heavy machines to do their job. Do you recognize this machine? Of course, the most important thing we need are people to get the job done. Once you have your plan and materials, the next step is to build your project. Some projects are easy and others are complex. Complex is a word that means complicated or harder. 
The last step is inspection or making sure that the building is safe. Let's give it a try and make our own house together. Here's our supply list. We'll need one piece of foam board cut into different shapes, glue, markers, paint, and any other decorations you'd like to use. Every day we start the same, we get our plan and write our name. So we're in step one, plan. The first thing I want to draw is a foundation. That's the thing at the bottom of the building. Next, I'm going to draw the walls. And I'm going to write the word walls right next to it so I know what the lines mean. Next is the roof. That goes on top of my house. Then I drew on more details like a door and windows. I decided to draw my walls. I knew I needed one, two, three, four walls for my building to stand up. I used a square piece of foam board for my foundation. Then I used one, two, three, four smaller rectangles for my walls. I glued each of the four pieces together and made sure they stood up so they could hold the roof. It's helpful to hold them together a little bit so they don't fall over. Once I glued all four pieces, I used another square for the roof. Here I am gluing it down. Here's what it looks like once you add details with markers. Now we need to inspect our building. When I hold it up, it feels stable. I hope you try to build a house of your own. Building is so much fun. Goodbye. Did you enjoy building that house? Now don't forget that you can learn more about building houses in the books around you and on the Sora app. Let's see. Oh, you know what that means. Time to see what we accomplished today. So we did our emotional check-in and you're gonna do that throughout the day and check in on other people too. And then we did our weekly investigation. Today we learned more about construction work. We even built our own house. And now it's time to sing the goodbye song. Will you sing with me? Well, let me stand up and we'll sing together. Ready? A, B, See you later, D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya, H, I, have to go now, J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. I hope you had so much fun learning with me today. Miss Lara sends you a big smooch mwah, and a big squeeze mm, and reminds you to read, to play, and to enjoy the rest of your day. Really good. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Thank you for coming today. Bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.